Now, we're going to get into the other things. There are two other ways to use it, and it's, they're unorthodox, but they make sense if you think about it. Okay. From this position here, I have the skull crusher. I have something to hit with, right? Something similar to a brass knuckle. But I've also got this wicked karambit blade on the back side of this thing, okay? Um, I got this idea actually from carving on and whittling and stuff like that. Um, because with this knife, you don't want to whittle like this. You whittle putting your fingers through those rings and you whittle this way. This actually surprisingly has a lot of good control for whittling like cover survival uses and stuff like that. Anyway, <clears throat> so we got something to punch with here. We got a pommel striker here. We got this wicked blade that's just <laughs> wicked sharp here. So literally, you know, if there's an attack and I want to work from the inside, I can hit that arm, come back, and rip. Okay, I've, if an attack is coming from this side, I can block it here, come back in, and rip. You know, if that attack is coming from that side again, I can just cut and rip from here, and then come back. Okay, so I mean, there's so many things that you can do with this just right here. I mean, I can come up and under, and split the tree again. I can go the femoral, go the femoral, go up under the arm, under the arm, side of the neck side of the neck, okay? The reason why I'm showing you these movements with this, this is a three inch blade. It's not long enough to go into a heart. What it is long enough to do is it'll get those arteries that are close to the skin, which you should be uh, targeting anyway, okay? So now that we've gone over that with the forehand of this, now let's just reverse it. Okay. So now I've got it reversed. Now I've got same thing, same deal. I've got a striker here. I've got a crusher here, right? Okay. I've also could do a punching, striking thing here, right? But now I've also got this, still got this wicked blade, only it's on the bottom of my hand. So, you know, if I'm blocking here, I'm blocking and ripping. I can come back behind the head. I can wrap around to the other side of the neck, cut everything all the way on the back side. I can grab, I can put this behind the head, smack the head, and pull the knife through. I mean, there's so many things that I can do with this. That I mean, the versatility is just crazy. I can come in here, right? If a punch is coming to my face, I can block it, punch, stab, whatever. I can block it using the side of my arm here and pull down, okay? And then just launch myself past my opponent so that he's like, ha ah, he missed. No, I didn't, because I've got that point coming straight back, okay? And I can do that either side, either way I want. But the fact of the matter is, as long as you have this in your hand, you know, you can use it. The reason why I just showed you those last two positions is because if I have to draw this with my left hand, guess what? It's not gonna be in this position, okay? If I draw this with my left hand, it's going to be in this position. The reason why you have to train with this position is because that's what your left hand is gonna be like. So, you have to be aware of this, okay? A lot of the time, if you actually need to use this thing, it's fun to train with the reverse grip and with other things like this, and you really need to, but the fact of the matter is, is that if you're right-handed, most of the time, you're gonna grab for, for the right hand. Train with this style first. Train with this grip first. Then go ahead and do the reverse grip, okay? Start out with this, then learn flipping, then learn this way, then learn this way, okay? Train safe, 
use a trainer if you can at all. If not, um, with this, quite honestly, what I would do, because it is such a wiggly sharp blade, cover it in duct tape. Take, take a wrap of duct tape, you know, and cover the edge with it. Is that a great thing to uh, keep you from cutting yourself? Well, no, not exactly. But on the other hand, it's better than training with a live blade if, you, if you're not comfortable with that. Um, at least with it being covered with duct tape, you're less likely to hurt yourself. The best way to train with this, honestly, if you wanted to train with this and you wanted a trainer, is I would recommend that you buy two of them one to the, that is a live blade that you carry with you and buy a second one and then just like I showed with that uh, file file the edge off and round this tip with a file and instantly you've got a good to go trainer um, and actually you've also got a so called controller like a sag, like snag would have so that's something else to be aware of Alrighty guys, I thank you for your time. I appreciate your comments, I appreciate your views, I appreciate your time. Defend your homes wisely.